Hey, in this video we're going to go through the mounting of a GoPro camera on the Stingray. This isn't necessarily specifically for FPV, we'll have another video for that. But in this case we're simply going to explain the idea behind how you mount a GoPro to the Stingray. Now looking at a Stingray, uh, here we have a GoPro in one of the possible mounting locations up front. Looking at a Stingray, it doesn't have what look like obvious locations to mount cameras. But in reality, the canopy and the machine were actually designed around mounting both FPV cameras and GoPros to it. The overall shape in several locations to give you a uh, you can have camera mounting locations up here, camera mounting location here, and slightly further forward. The canopy is designed around the idea of it being the dampening device for the camera. The way the shape is formed, the way it mounts, allows it to dampen the vibration between all the rotors in the camera itself. So you have the mass of the camera here or here and it's allowed to move relative to the everything else everything else in the model. So the canopy is actually designed around being your dampener between your mass of your camera and the machine. So the shapes are done specifically for this. So it's actually been a lot of thought given into having the canopy actually work as your damper. So you don't have, have to have extra bolts and parts uh, to mount your camera and have the vibration isolated. This is one of the mounting locations we often use. Uh, this, this still shows you some of the blades and some of the canopy. If you want to remove the blades completely and canopy from view, you move it even further forward. You need to add a little bit of um, tape underneath it to keep it angled up, but you can move it further toward the nose to get the blades out of the scene completely. For racing and in cockpit feeling views, you tend to put the camera up here. Uh, but I'll go ahead and go through a couple of little tips to watch for on the canopy to make sure you don't get any vibration transmitted between your rotors and the canopy. There's just a few little details. We'll go over that now. Okay, here we have the stock machine, the stock Stingray canopy built simply the way we explained to build it in the instructions and through the videos. Uh, a couple things you need to watch for uh, when you're trying to mount a camera to it. The big thing is you don't want the canopy actually to be loose in any case. In any location, you know, make sure you use your fuel line tab up front. Without it, it can rattle. The fuel line tab to push down on it to keep it from rattling. The mounting in the rear, you have the fuel line that you push back over the tab. You'll make sure that's pushed down all the way so that the canopy can't move side to side. It's got little tabs, plastic tabs on the inside where the canopy mounts. This canopy needs to push pushed up all the way against it, and the fuel line pushed against that. That'll keep this from just freely moving. It'll allow it to flex, which we want, but it won't allow it to freely move. The other thing is you want to make sure to use the Velcro strap, as we explained in the instructions, so you can pull that down tight so it tend, doesn't tend to move and flex freely. Um, another thing that uh, I, I think I noted in one of the videos helps reduce, <coughs> excuse me, helps reduce any kind of rattle problems. At the very front, I add little strips of Velcro, the fuzzy kind of Velcro. Simply take this fuzzy Velcro, cut a little section of it off, and I tape it here and here. So as the canopy rests down, it's, it's, it's not hitting against the hard plastic or hard metal. That helps dampen some of the vibration as well. That's about it on the canopy itself as far as making sure it's uh, isolated and well mounted and solid. The, when they mold the canopies, the, the stiffness of the canopy does vary a little bit. In other words, they, they're all going to be slightly different. It's possible, you might, and there might be some cases where the canopy is a little extra flexible and instead of having the, only the one strap here, and you might have to add another strap here so you can pull it tight in another location just to prevent it from rattling. Uh, we haven't, I haven't run into that, but I could see that happening uh, just simply from the variance in the plastic. Okay, that's at the, the other point after you get with the canopy, the other point is uh, when I've done all my video work, I've done nothing to balance anything or adjust anything to make it vibration free. Uh, all the blades come pre-balanced. They should be okay, but if you're seeing extra vibration for some reason, you might want to at least check, statically check the blades make sure they're balanced. Make sure nothing's bent. Um, also, if you're getting a vibration, make sure that the uh, bolts, there's, there's, two, there's a 5.5mm uh, nut here and here that holds this grip in. Make sure those nuts are tight so that one of them isn't off from the other, causing it to vibrate. Just generally check the machine for vibration. Now, as long as everything's mechanically okay, it shouldn't tend to vibrate and the camera should sit steady. 
Okay, next we're going to get to actually mounting the camera on the machine. Now for actually mounting the GoPro to the Stingray, you need of course your GoPro, double stick tape, some scissors, uh, a body reamer, body reamer, and some zip ties. Uh, you don't have to use the zip ties in the body reamer, but if you're going to keep it on there and do a lot of flying, I'd recommend go ahead and zip tying it down. It just requires a couple little holes in the canopy, uh, which you can cover with some of our decals that come with it later if you want to remove the camera, uh, but that's just a little extra safety in addition to the tape. Also the thing I found it's very important what kind of tape you're using double stick tape it down. I'm using the, the 3M 4941 tape. It's very similar, if it may even be the same stuff, I'm not sure, but it's very similar to the tape they use for all the GoPro mounts and it sticks extremely well both to the camera and to the model. So I highly recommend this tape. Again it's the, the 3M 4941 tape. Uh, you can easily just stick it to the body and stick it to the camera and it tends to stay, which is what I, what I do when I'm just doing some brief videoing with it. Okay, as an example, when I want to mount it up for an in-cockpit view, I tend to cut it just a little wider than the canopy. Pick your position up here. I put it just slightly behind this little next D decal I got. I put it on the canopy. And I'll take the GoPro. Remember the cam the, the lens is slightly offset from center on the camera. So I put it with the, with the lens is close to center. Mount it, just stick it on. And I push from the inside to get a good stiff, good contact between the tape, the canopy, and the camera. down that's really about all I do when I'm gonna do just quick some quick video either racing or just video around flying that's the way I'll mount it I'll just double stick tape it on until it's good and tight on the model uh, if you're gonna do if you're gonna make a cam canopy where you want to keep a camera on it I highly recommend making some uh, holes in the canopy right in front or right behind the camera uh, with a little body reamer and you can run a zip tie down around inside and back over the camera to hold it in place. Um, the other thing you can do when you're mounting it up front, uh, like, let's try to pull that off. <laughs> I stuck. Um, when you're going to mount it up here, uh, the, the, the front piece has a little slope to it. So, what I'll do, depending on where I'm putting it and what angle I want to sit at, I may put a thin, a thin section of tape and then lay another piece of tape on top of it just to set the angle of the camera. Then I'll put some tape back here to, back, to stick up against it. So for the position where you can see a little bit of the canopy and the rotors, I'll go ahead and stick it against the back here. If I want to have nothing but the um, air, you're not seeing blades or anything else, I'll tend to run it up against, almost against this post. Again with a little bit of tape underneath it to set the angle. And again, if you're going to do, uh, or you leave it on there, you want to do a lot of flying, I'd run a little little hole to the body reamer and run a zip, a zip tie around it. Okay, that's how you mount your GoPro to your Stingray. In this case, the GoPro could be used either for just filming or for FPV. Now we're going to have another video where we go through the options of FPV with the Stingray, both systems, and how you might mount them. In this case, we're just talking about mounting the camera. Next, we're going to show you a couple videos of footage shot from the GoPro being mounted to the Stingray in a couple different locations. Enjoy the video.